Not being able to read, I was wondering how this was gonna turn out. Some things in this world can be read even if one can't read. Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow is blank. I'd better get this important information to Lynn as fast as I can. Well, there's nothing else I can do here. Might as well head back to Lynn and tell her the news. Or rather, the lack thereof. D99, dinner! Quite a feast tonight. I see. Ah, and I'm absolutely crazy about this chicken. It's too bad it's all cold and hard, though. I'd say it's been about two hours since it was cooked, judging from the way it feels. D99? I know it's kind of pointless to ask now. But just the same, I still want to know. Why did you do it? Hmm. I agree. It's pointless to ask now. My case is colder than this chicken, and has been forgotten by everybody. Myself included. Detective Jown. Now then, let me eat in peace, before it gets too cold to cut. Hmm? Easy. Easy. Ah, uh, there we go. There's one more thing I've been wondering for a long time. What's that? Who is the man in that painting? Oh, this? Well, being in prison like this, you start to forget faces, you know. So I paint the faces that I don't want to forget. And this is the last of those faces. Now, could you leave me alone for a bit? Let a man eat in peace. Okay, sure. Sorry to bother you. What in the world? What in the world could this mean? Why is there a painting of me in this man's cell? Who exactly is this prisoner? The man whose case Lynn is investigating is painting a picture of me in a cell. I have to go see Lynn. Fast. And not for her sake. For mine. To solve this mystery of me. Damn. This whole situation is getting more and more suspicious by the second. Oh well. Thank God for an interconnected telephone line. This telephone doesn't connect to the outside. And I've got questions I want to ask Lynn. I've got to get to a place that has an external line. And fast! This is headquarters. What's the status over there? Oh, Chief! It's you! They're making preparations now! No problem, sir! How much longer, then? One more hour, sir! I see. Carry on, then. Oh, one more thing. Inspector Cabanella wishes to speak to you. Evening. Cabanella here. How you boys doing? Inspector Cabanella! Fine, sir! You got another little call tonight, didn't you? From my baby? Oh! From Lynn? Uh, well, yes. Did my girl have anything interesting to say? Uh, not especially. She hung up almost immediately. I see. Next time she gives you a buzz, be sure to let me know right away. That's a good fella. Yes, sir! You try to cover it up, and I'm sure you'll regret it very much. Very much. Yes, sir! I'll call you right away, sir! Immediately! Don't forget, she's a fugitive, after all. Yes, sir! Carry on, then. I might pop in a little later. Yes, sir! Looking forward to seeing you, sir! There's no way Lynn could have done it. She doesn't seem like the kind of person who'd kill somebody.
Lynn should be heading for the chicken kitchen now. But the call from police headquarters intrigues me too. It's looking pretty obvious right now that white suited inspector suspects Lynn. And she's being considered a fugitive. This is not good. We'll never should go check on the chief and the inspector in white too. Operations seem to be going smoothly over at the prison, eh, Inspector Cabanella? Hmm. We were just a little too late. So close, eh, Inspector? We still have a little time left, Chief. Not much, but some. We've had Point X around it all night. If he shows up, we nab him, and we could still make it. By the way, what's going on with that other case? The junkyard murder. She did it, eh? No question about it? She's a bad little baby. Disappearing from the scene like that. Wonder where she ran off to play. What did he just say? She did it? Did I hear that right? I think they were talking about the culprit who killed me. No way. I just don't believe it. Why would she do a thing like that? Great, I don't have the answers for you, Chief. I don't want to believe it any more than you do. And yet? After seeing this, maybe we don't have any other choice but to believe, baby. Is that the security camera tape the investigation unit just delivered? Mm, I can't deny it. It's some pretty solid evidence against her. Evidence? Nothing like it, baby. Damn it. Why a murder case now? On such an important night. Tisk tisk. I think you have that wrong, Chief. A murder case now, for the reason that it is such an important night. I'm gonna have to watch that tape despite how much I don't want to. Alright, come up here, around here, pull down the projector screen. There we go. The junkyard where I died had a security camera. I captured the moment of my death perfectly. And what the tape showed me was the cruelest truth imaginable. I saw myself shot, right before my own eyes, by Lynn. There goes my only lead. I feel like I died all over again. One thing sticks with me, though. Lynn looks so surprised on that tape. What in the world did I tell her? Please let this be wrong. The truth is the truth. No matter how many times you watch it, Inspector Cabanella. It wasn't me who played the tape just now, baby. Oh, 
By the way, Inspector Cabanella, there's something on that tape that troubles me. And what's that, Chief? I'm all ears. I had a look at all the photos of the crime scene as well, but the place where the victim was shot and where the body was found is clearly different. Hey, he's right. That is strange. The hitman in black is the one who kicked me downstairs. But I changed his fate, so he should be out of the picture. But there I am, down on the lower level. I have the answer to your mystery right here, a few minutes after the murder took place. You got it, baby. A furry feline messed up our crime scene. And then the little cat culprit vanished into the night. Hmm. It looks like my destiny of landing on a broken bottle is very hard to alter. This is Point X. Come in, Chief. What? Point X? The Chief here. Did he show up? Uh, no, sir. Not yet, but... Idiot! I told you to stay off the radio unless it was important! But this is important, sir. Somebody else showed up. Our rookie detective, Lynn. What? You see my baby over there, do you? I heard she was on the lam. What do you want me to do, Chief? What do you say, Inspector? Detective, get my baby away from Point X! Do it now, man, and then hold on to her! Yes, sir. I'll go get her now, sir. What's the meaning of this? Why would Lynn show up at Point X? It took the Special Investigation Unit six months to pinpoint that location. Don't know, Chief, but I'd say it wasn't a coincidence. Perhaps. Detective, come in! Now what? What happened this time? Damn it! This calls for a telephone call to Point X. Allow me. I can't believe that Lynn would actually kill someone. I gotta go find her. Now! What are you doing? Get your puns over here! W what did you say? Now I finally understand. I finally know what it's like for our poor, hungry customers who have had their food deliveries delayed. Excuse me, but this is the chicken kitchen, is it not? Kikosa? Aren't I talking to the polizia? The police? Did something happen there you need assistance with? Something up in here, you ask? More like there's nothing left here! I gotta go! Wait! Wait! What's going on? Something, that's what. Something is definitely going on. And that something is far from nothing, that's for certain. Thanks for the tea, Chief. I'll be on my way. Going to Point X? Point X, huh? I'll leave that to the boys. There's someplace else I gotta be. Inspector, your being there isn't going to change anything. Why put yourself through it? I have a responsibility, and I'm gonna see it through to the end. Besides, it's not quite over yet. Right, that's true. Do what you must then.
prison of D99 schedule for tomorrow was blank. It seems like forever ago that I found that out. And now, my mind was even blanker than that blackboard was. Lynn, my only lead, and my partner shot me. What did it all mean? I knew where I had to go to get my answers. The chicken kitchen, the point X the police have surrounded, and the place where something big just happened. Or will Lynn be involved in this time when I find her there? I just can't get these images I saw at the police headquarters out of my head. The person who shot me tonight is the last person in the world I want to believe did it. Now I'm here, at the place she and I agreed to meet. The restaurant the police were staking out as Point X. When I got there, I found the place in ruins. Whoa! What in the world happened here? First the walls and grommet machine, and now a giant chicken? What is this, a Looney Tunes cartoon? Oh, the heavens! What do I do? If I'd known something like this would happen, oh, I would have paid the poor child more! I would have cooked more chicken for her. I would have sung to her as much as she liked uh, until she'd had her fill. Actually, about the singing, she did tell me she'd had her fill a time or two. The chef seems to be in quite a panic. Anyway, at least it doesn't look like the waitress is dead. That's one way to greet a guy. What happened here? Hey, how should I know? I'm the victim. Is it just my imagination? Or is she getting more and more brazen every time she dies? Oh, that's because I'm a detective. I have to be tough, you know. Well, and how did it go? Did you check out tomorrow's work schedule for Prisoner D99? Yeah, just like I promised. Actually, I had a few things I wanted to ask you about, too. Sure. We agreed to use each other after all, right? Yeah. Right. Use each other. That was what I said, wasn't it? On my way here, I stopped by the chief of police's office. Oh, it was just on your way, was it? And while I was there, I saw who did it. I saw my murderer. You saw him? Where? How? Not him. Her. There was a security camera set up there at the junkyard where I got shot. The security tape showed the person who shot me. It was you. No way. You're kidding, right? What do you have to say for yourself, detective? It wasn't me. I didn't shoot you. If I recall... This is what you said about who shot me. My memory just isn't clear on that part. So how can you say for sure that it wasn't you? Because! I told you before! You were supposed to give me some information! Information, huh? Maybe that information was the reason you shot me. What? What do you mean? You said you had information on the case I'm looking into. So I would hardly shoot you before I even heard that information, right? I agree. That wouldn't make sense if it was before. Huh? But what if it was after you'd already gotten the information from me? I definitely told you something then. And whatever it was, it really shocked you. What did I tell you? I don't remember. I don't know. You gotta believe me. After you saved me, I thought I got all of my memories back. But maybe I really didn't. You told me something? I can't remember that part at all. 
You got the information you wanted from me, and then you shot me. Isn't that what happened? No! No, I didn't shoot you! Please tell me! What did you tell me that time? What did I learn from you? Just like you said, each prisoner had a little blackboard in his cell. But the thing is, there wasn't anything written on Prisoner D-99's blackboard. It was blank. What? I guess maybe it means the schedule for tomorrow hasn't been decided yet. Blank? Blank? No! Huh? I didn't think she'd lose it over a blank blackboard. How come you're so upset over an undecided work schedule? I get the feeling that, back when I was alive, I never had much of a schedule to worry about myself. Do you know what it means when a prisoner doesn't have a schedule for the next day? Huh? It means something? It doesn't mean he doesn't have work to do. It's more like he can't work. And that's because he's going to be executed. Executed? Do you know what Prisoner D-99's crime was? I think so. They said something about him murdering his wife right in front of a family member. That's what they say. But it's not true. He would never! Detective Zhao would never do anything like that! And the death penalty hasn't been enforced in this country for a very long time. Not for decades! Even if the prisoner wants it. Like in this case. Huh? Prisoner wants it? There's definitely something else going on with this case. I just know it. And I have to find out what. And if his work schedule is blank for tomorrow, I have to do it right now. So this prisoner D-99, Detective Zhao, he must be connected to me in some way too. After all, he obviously knows me. The police were staking this restaurant out tonight. They called it Point X. Point X, huh? That's a good name for this place. That white-suited inspector was surprised to find out you just casually waltzed in here. Inspector Cabanella? What in the world made you pick this place anyway? I guess I'd have to say because of you. Me? Huh? Do you remember that note I found? Yeah, I remember. That note I didn't get a chance to read. It had a place and a time written on it. The Chicken Kitchen, 10 o'clock. In other words... I was supposed to meet somebody here tonight. Yep, apparently so. I just had to get that information you were going to give me. That's why I came here. It was the only lead I had left. And this here is Point X. So that must mean the mock the police were waiting for was me. So, what are you going to do now? I mean, you fulfilled your goal, right? You found out who shot you. Are you going to get revenge? <laughs> It'd be easy enough to do. All you have to do is not save me. Is it really that simple? I just leave Lin here to die. Is this the ending I was hoping for? Had I unraveled all the mysteries of me? No. No, no, there's something more to this case. What am I gonna do now? I'm gonna save you, that's what. You are? I wanna know everything. Who I was. Why was I killed? And I'd like to know who those guys are, too. I want answers. And I'm gonna find them. But to do that, I'm gonna need your help. Okay, I won't say thank you. Not yet. And I won't say I'm sorry either. But I'll help see to it that you get your answers. Good. Now, I think it's time to go back to the past. I can't leave you lying flat under a huge chunk of chicken forever, after all. <sighs> Thank you.
The note said the chicken kitchen, 10 o'clock. I wonder who that pointy-haired man was going to meet here. What's this? Here you go! Where's my chicken? Can I eat that thing? You know, if the Guinness Book of World Records was going for worst death possible, you definitely won the grand prize. Leave me alone. Can I help it if I got tired of dying the usual ways? But I'll say this. It was a death any detective could be proud of. Huh? What makes you say that? The way you save somebody else before dying yourself. Oh, that waitress? The one with the chicken on her head? The next time you put a chicken on your head... You should try one about the size of the waitresses. I'll make a note of that for next time. But anyway, if you hadn't tried to save that waitress, you'd still be alive. I couldn't help it. You know, the detective thing and all. I wasn't able to save that poor van driver, though. At that speed, he must have died instantly. Well, we can't let a heroic detective like you stay dead. The root of this whole disaster is clear. The only question is, how do I stop it? Okay, let's get started. Let's do a project. project.